<sighs> and we're back. Bloody hell. That was a little bit annoying. Hear me? I hope so. Anyway, so the gist I got of that first very, very long cutscene is we have to go and investigate this realm of light and see if it truly does exist. <laughs> Dodgy uh, voice acting aside. Ah, lovely tea. Now I'm ready for some puzzles, so let's have a talk to this fellow over here, see if he can help me. Ah, okay. May I help you? Oh, for God's sake, text input. <laughs> Didn't know many other point and clicks were using this aside from Trilby's notes. Considering everybody fucking mind about it, excuse my language. But anyway, um, let's ask him about my mission. I think it's one word thing. <clears throat> As your what does that say? Does that say Vader? Oh, I don't know. Maybe that's their word for father. I don't know. Okay, search for clues and artifacts that may reveal the truth about the light. You might also consider talking with whatever that dude's name is in the Council of Science. If you haven't done this already. He surely knows more than me. That should be more than I. He is a scholar, and I am just an insignificant servant. Okay. I'm guessing the uh, Gelt person is their god that they worship. Okay. Okay, what's this tapestry? Red piece of fabric. The eye of Gelt is weaved into this. It looks like a backwards moon. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone in this is made of Play-Doh. Oh my god, I didn't even think about that. God, it must be. Let's touchy-touch it. The fact that he just told me it's too thick to tear off a piece means I probably have to take a piece of that at some point. There's an act back in the room. Okay, let's have a look around. We're going to the next room. Ooh, a tree! Oh, it's not called a tree, it's called a gouzon. Gouzon. Okay, they're the only trees that still blossom in this place of darkness. Oh. Huh. What's this? A clear glass jar. Perhaps we should take that with us? One of you find random objects walking, I mean, sitting around. It usually means you need them for something. <clears throat> I had a sneak at the manual for this before I started playing, and um, the actual city is quite large. So I'm guessing there are quite a few rooms. The door over here that leads to the kitchen. Can we actually go up here? Ah, oh, we can. Go through this door. <clears throat> Can't really tell if I'm where I can walk. I can't really tell where I can walk because of the way the art is, but it seems okay. Oh, so he has his own room. <coughs> My room. The door is locked. Well, surely you can unlock your own door. 
Yes, I agree, dude. This game is as confusing as fuck. <laughs> I'm guessing that's what you wrote in the chat. Oh, Ooh, knock, knock. Seems to be nobody inside. Knocky, knock, knock. <laughs> Someone came gently rapping at my door. Well, I'm guessing there's nobody in any of these doors. I might as well just go and have a fucking look around. Ah, and that brings us back down here. I think it just went in a complete damn circle. <laughs> oh, where does this lead? The entrance to the throne room. Oh, so we just came out of there then. Let's go this way. Holy fuck. <laughs> that is a big city. Now, where was we looking for? Market? Shipyard? Undertown? Um, is that where councils? Yeah, that's where I'm meant to be going. I had to click that three times. Oh, I see. The Eye of Gelts is actually the moon. Ah. Ha ha. <laughs> Let's go in. It's a tavern. Apparently that one there's a woman. I can't tell. I don't think I've got the brightness up far enough. I'm not going to make it any brighter. It's sat there. Thing. What are you saying to you for, dude? What did I say? <laughs> that was a woman. <laughs> At least he's polite. He doesn't want to interrupt her. He doesn't seem to want to talk to many people. <clears throat> Do you have any uses? That was a woman. <laughs> uh, I couldn't tell, honestly. Um, uh, I have no idea, seriously. And the interface is a little bit odd. Wait a minute. Is it flashing on the stairs or is it just me? <laughs> the artwork is a bit lacking. Yes, it is do that. But you can't really knock it too much. It's better than a lot of the AGS games I've seen that have been made with AGS. And I think it was only two guys worked on this game, mostly. Oh, oh what's this place? Ah, these people are apparently all injured. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> you don't care, they cut corners. You're so cruel. Have you no pity, woman?
Oh god, he's actually operating on someone. Wow, apparently that thing... I don't know what that was on his head, but apparently he's a doctor. Huh. He looks like a mad scientist. <laughs> Hopefully I'm going the right way. Oh, for fuck's sake. Oh, I see. He's actually on the sort of map. That was quite weird. Who are you? And what are you doing here? Strangers may not enter the Council of Science. Guards! My name is Rabok. I'm a son of you, and I have been given a special assignment by my father. I was advised to visit More the Council of Science in search of information. I wish to speak with Rathbok, the head of the Council. I'm certain he's aware of my concerns. Ah, Rabba. Your brother Thorpe told me you would come. He visited recently and I explained everything to him. And now you're going and to long-windedly explain I everything right to, to me. make the acquaintance of our sovereign's youngest son. The honor is all mine, Rafa. Yeah, just you're accept his word for, for the fact that he's the son of the prince. I am grateful to have an opportunity <laughs> to learn from you. I mean, when he walked in, you didn't even know who the hell he was. Yes, yes. All right. Then let us begin imitating, because there are important it's a matters we must discuss. <laughs> oh my god, it is as well. It looks like a griffin. That will determine the future of our realm. Come, let me show you around the Council of Science. Yay! God. This is the administrative area, as you can see. Our archive contains detailed information about almost every inhabitant of our city. Let me explain that to you nine thousand times. Our gaze. We cannot <laughs> afford trouble from revolutionaries. Come, I will take you further. Oh God! Also walking. At least let me do some of the walking, damn it. We have now reached the center of the complex. All the other areas <laughs> of the complex. The center of the complex, we walked five steps. <laughs> the large window you see in the background opens to the city's marketplace. Like the eye that huge the window office, opens. It watches the dealings Fair of enough. the people. Below, you can see the library and the main hall of the building. That is where the <laughs> He's lying, that ain't the center. <laughs> Very true. Me, and I will guide you further still. <laughs> He's like a gripper in Alexander. He's a filthy liar. <laughs> this is the laboratory at my workspace. This is where I seek to expand our the laboratory. Of the world around us. It's very small. And my discoveries are added to our library. Do you have any questions about the building? No, but it is very impressive, Bravo. Very good. Then I will show you something extraordinary. Ooh, extraordinary, I can't wait. Do you see this creature? What? Three days ago, a local fisherman reeled the creature in from the Borg River and only managed to catch it as it was extremely aggressive. <laughs> How did it end up in this tank? The council secret service stepped in immediately and quietly took it away from the fisherman. Since then, the body has been in my keeping for the purposes of study. I have never seen anything comparable. The fish in our waters grow to a maximum size of 20 crotus. This beast was more than 100 crotus long and dangerous. It seems we are looking at an entirely new species whose origin we cannot determine. And you think there are more creatures like this? Are they really a serious threat to our realm? Of course not. I wouldn't mention such a thing if it wasn't for the artifacts. Oh god, what this is very long-winded. Come back me. 
I'll show you. <laughs> Here we go, auto walking again. And hello there to our when new I viewer. That the creature Just I noticed. Found these items in its stomach. As you can see, this is a kind of satrap. Hang on a minute, it's actually naked, it's holy crap. It seems to be charged with a form of energy unknown to science until now. In addition to that, I found this strange blue glowing object. It seems to be an inexhaustible energy source, as it gives off light continuously. Where do you think these things come from? Difficult to say. Who knows where that beast swallowed them, but we are sure that they are not relics of our own civilization. Though oh, they God, do seem to be related to our culture, they are the products of technology <laughs> centuries ahead Hi, of us. Hi Sam. The game's called A Second Face. It's off the AGS you know forums. what could happen if we acquired such technology? You are talking about the Morgan problem. Yeah, it's a long-winded cutscene. Certainly. I apologize, I didn't know it had long-winded cutscenes. that we scarcely have enough <laughs> to last three cycles. If we do not succeed and in I can't quit. new energy I can't skip soon, cutscenes. I've tried. Clicking and spacebar and enter don't work. To avoiding that fate. Mm. If only we could determine their origin. Are there any clues as to where they could have come from? Well, I believe your father has already made his views known. In oh, the realm of light. You could have just told us that instead of going off on one. Idea Somebody wanted to show off. The effects have something to do with the <laughs> legendary realm of light. He's convinced that the realm could no exist. No problem, Sam. See you in a bit. And that its discovery <laughs> would put an end to all our problems. Do you believe all this? It's bunk, if you ask me. Nevertheless, it's bunk. Your What's that supposed to mean? City's highest authority. And admittedly, it is true that there are a small number of devotees of light in our realm who call themselves the Guild of Light. Wait a minute, I thought you guys didn't believe that the people of the light even existed. Cult. But oh, now I'm confused the already. means to monitor their activities under my direction. We I thought he said murder then, he said monitor. <laughs> reject the lore of fertility of our holy guilds might hold information that could lead us to the origin of these artifacts. As I see it, it is part of your mission to try to make contact with this fanatical subculture. But how will I find them when they hid themselves even from the Council of Science? Oh god, more questions? I can only tell Jesus you Christ, you man, your use your brain! Your You're meant to be the intelligent one! Your brother's meant to be the freaking meat... The meat dude who's got no brains and it's just all about muscles. Ugh. Sections of the council are keeping library are at your of the council archive and library are at your disposition. I must respectfully ask you to leave now, as I have to attend to my work. Yay! If you have any more questions, you may contact me in future. Meathead, thank you. I, I I tripped over my own words. I know. Meathead was the word I was looking for. Ah, let's have a closer look, shall we? God, that is so rude. <laughs> he thinks it's remarkable. <laughs> Emit a great deal of energy. <laughs> hmm. Oh, he won't let us nick it. Is that a knife on the table? of having to awkwardly navigate this bloody place. Let's have a look around, shall we? <laughs> I was not staring. I learned a spell, dude. It. <laughs> uh, ooh, books. Lots of books. Ugh. He seems to be studying a book. 
He's looking for something. Fair enough, so that's pointless of me coming here. <sighs> I feel like a derp for playing this bloody game. I'm already confused, and I don't confuse easy. Oh my god. Oh god, that's a woman. Uh, nothing. Obviously she can't help. They let us freely talk to the people who can't effing help us. Get back up there, you, Mr. Purple Dude. Because I cannot pronounce your name. <laughs> uh, yes, that was a lady, apparently. It's quite odd. <clears throat> God, it's cold here. Bloody hell. Bah. <laughs> oh, now there's a note here. How can you tell from that distance that there's nothing important written on it? Well, that's a little bit annoying. You leave a random note there and I think, hey... I think, hey, that's got something important on it. But no. It's just been left there for the sake of being left there. You don't do that in point and clicks. That gets confusing if you do stuff like that in a point and click. Okay, so I spoke to that weird dude. Now what do I do? I wasn't really paying attention. But as we were discussing a fish... Um, I guess we would go to the shipyard. In case no one's wondering, he's here on the map and walking very, very slowly. I was a beggar. She wasn't there before. Oh, he seems to be injured. Don't help, you know, him or anything. No. Nice to see that they're lovely and civilised, selling slaves. Hmm. A lawn party. <laughs> okay, so we do need the fishing rod, it would seem. I was just grabbing it thin air there. I saw the thing when I hovered over fishing rod it said fishing rod. And I was assuming, hey, maybe we need that fishing rod. Where the hell am I? Oh, that's the council site. Oh, that's a boat. A boaty boat. Um, it's a bucket. It's empty. Oh, we picked up the bucket though. <laughs> oh, we're gonna need that bucket for something, I would wager. Seems to be nobody inside. We we'll always use the boat. It's so leaky that it won't stay afloat anymore. Ah.
Ooh. Okay. Fish. People. Oh, lots of misshapen slaves. It's hovering over the names for all of these people. Apparently they're aristocrats. Aristocrats. I need to learn to frickin' read. Aristocrats. They're all dressed in brown though. <laughs> yeah, this way. Come on, I did click near the edge of the screen. Hmm. Oh, I've got numb foot, numb foot. <coughs> Ouch. Hmm. <laughs> Hover over the mud and it says bed. I think they mean flower bed. <sighs> but it just says bed. <laughs> Very strange. Very strange. It's a pillar, you idiot. I'll touch it then if it's strange. It doesn't contain any water. Um, I think I might have missed something in one of those cutscenes. Lovely. The guards have no tongues. That's why you can't speak to them, apparently. They can follow orders, but they cannot give them. Oh, what was the name of that thing? I can't remember now. Well, I'm sure I can see her boobs through her top. I can see her boobs through her top. <laughs> Bloody hell. <laughs> Someone needs to look at female anatomy just a tiny bit closer. <laughs> um. Oh, I was not looking at her boobs, they were hard to bloody miss. <laughs> oh gosh. I've just noticed those statues, bloody hell. <laughs> Definitely take a look at the statue, dude. That, that is just... whoa. It's a little bit graphic.
<laughs> Fair enough. Uh, I can't say I was paying that much attention, but... Oh, gosh. Well, oh, back to stupid map. Maybe we can ask that fisherman about that giant, weird, odd-looking fish. Maybe that's what we're supposed to do. <laughs> the statues had boobs and wangs. <laughs> oh my god, they did. That was really weird. I suppose it'd be a statue for either person to have. Maybe that's why. If not, I don't know. <laughs> Caught with my own hands, What, literally caught by hand? I'm being too sarcastic now, I'm going to behave. <laughs> Terrible observation skills. how the prison tower is connected to the Council of Science. If you get bored, that's all, and we'll see what else we can perhaps play. Oh god, not back there. Come on. Oh. I have to go back and talk to that weird scientist.
Clicking, click, click. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, back to this place. So you want him there to come up to easily get lost in this game. Oh, please be quick. He is so polite. You are at work, are you? Yeah, well, you're supposed to be helping a prince. You'd think you'd have more respect for a prince. Oh, He's not the public. He's the prince. He's not exactly the public. Our monarch would be very peeved if you considered her to be a mere member of the public. Oh, yeah, yeah. Why he says that to a prince? This game needed someone to beta read the script. Seriously. <laughs> Does he look like someone from the undertown, as they put it? Huh. He just told you he was the prince. Everybody else believed him on first on first meeting him. Why don't you? <laughs> the lowly factory worker doesn't believe him. Oh, god damn it. Fine. You think a prince would be able to go wherever the hell he wants? <sighs> I don't know. And welcome back, Sam. Yep, he was wearing a box on his head. Works in a factory, so I guess it kind of works. But this game hasn't given me any clues of what I'm actually supposed to be doing. <laughs> Damn him for copying you! Are you wearing a box on your head? Please help me, mister! What's the matter, beggar? Are you from the undertown? Are you That's hurt? a nice way to talk to someone. Yes! My name is Frot! I am from hurt. the undertown! She's I came to the high town 
because I heard of a doctor this morning to people from the undertown. What does the doctor want in exchange? He says he wanted my stomach because a wealthy man from the high town needs it. He told me I would be okay without a stomach. Wow. You really sold him your stomach? He told me that I didn't need it to survive. <laughs> oh Please my god. Understand. She's I'm very, very poor. dumb. Oh, it hurts so much. I Put don't her out think of I have long left. Please help me. What do you want me to do? Please yeah, I can't buy you a my stomach. stomach. Talk to the doctor in that house over there. I can't speak anymore. It hurts too much. But you're going to. <laughs> I cannot speak anymore, but I'll say one more line. <clears throat> sarcasm. Let me just start controlling my sarcasm. Okay, let's go and have a word with the doctor. About the crazy peasant of whom stomach he just stole. I spoke with a beggar. <laughs> he told me I thought it was a woman. Okay, he told me he sold he sold you his stomach. <laughs> I would like to buy back his stomach. Buy it back? With what? <laughs> oh, god damn. Be something I need. Okay, here we go. Better containers for preserving organs. At least that's what I hear. Hold the designs for such a container. Maybe I could construct one myself. All his crazy scientist plans. Where do you think in the Council of Sites, you moron? Exactly. The doctor just told you what I could have told you, which I had already figured out. Hmm. Wow, nice to know he hasn't got any love for his patients. I feel sorry for the dude who's getting a transplant. Wow, that was mind-blowing. I'm still trying to figure out how the beggar freaking sold his stomach and didn't realise that he needed it to live. <laughs> <coughs> oh, sorry. Very terrible cough of mine. Oh, tell me when you guys get bored or anything. Okay, so would it be in these cabinets perhaps? Seems to be the archive of our scientists. Let's have a talk to these scientists. Can't find that on the administration level. You have to go to the library level. Thank he just says thanks. He's got no manners. It should be thank you. He's a prince after all. He could at least speak with proper English grammar. And it should never be can I have something. It's may I. When it's someone you don't know. <laughs> I used to get corrected about that when I was younger. But can I have this? May I have this? Behave. <laughs> oh. Alright, let's talk to this person. Oh, he's polite there. He says pardon for disturbing the person. I think I can help you. Oh yes, here are the plans. Just hand them over, don't even ask who he is or anything. You know, could be some crazy terrorist up to no good.
Oh, fair enough. This guy's got some brains. Well, I've got to get rid of them, otherwise you won't let me leave. Uh, bloody fussy git. Karma. Thank you. 